9.14 is your time now, and some kids and adults with debilitating conditions are galloping their way towards better health. And this morning, Stacy's at Circle C2 in Snellville. This is a center that specializes in horse therapy. Stacy, this is so interesting. What an amazing program they have going here, Karen. That's right, we're here in Snellville, and this is Mason, and he's getting ready to mount his horse for the very first time with Caroline Jaffe, who is an experienced equine specialist. Go ahead, let's, let's watch Mason get up on the horse. You ready for this, Mason? Yes, that was a big yes. All right. So as he does that, Caroline, you're, you're going to do that now, help him out? I it's important that you have out, someone to, to help out. I mean, you monitor every child out here. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. We have safety standards and guidelines through PATH International, prior NARA okay. International. I'm certified through NARA. Of course, we work with physical and occupational therapists in addition to speech pathologists. We do basically physical, occupational, or any type of therapy okay. uh, if it's a hippotherapy session. And if it's a therapeutic riding session, then then the child is working with me one-on-one -on -one and we customize those programs for each child. Caroline, okay, so I'll let you, I know Mason is ready to get on that wall. He is ready to go. <laughs> he is ready to go. We don't want to take any time away. As uh, he does that, we're going to talk to Dr. Susan Gray. Good morning. Good morning. So how important is it, you're a pulmonologist, how important is it to for a child to have this type of experience? Oh, it is uh, extremely important. Uh, the children here uh, learn so much and they benefit uh, from an emotional standpoint and also from a medical standpoint. And he doesn't seem scared at all. I mean, you know, but they come out here and they learn to develop some confidence and, and social interaction. Absolutely. The horses here are large, but they're very gentle. But that's one reason that horses are so effective, because they are large and they can be intimidate, intimidating creatures. Um, and the kids out here have to learn um, to be comfortable with them. And uh, it really does build their self-confidence. Now, you're also a volunteer out here, right? I am a volunteer board member, yes. And how is that? Tell me what all you do. And I know it's very important and um, it's a big deal for the community. And it has to put a big smile in your heart and on your face to see the smile on the kids faces uh, absolutely uh, basically I'm a, a resource for Caroline if she has any medical questions or any concerns about uh, perhaps any of the clients that come out here that have medical issues um, and they're in the environment environment may be unsafe um, she's she can contact me anytime and I can help walk her through the steps and just make okay. sure that we maintain a, a good safe environment for all the different uh, types of people that she has out here yeah because you see all types right yes. I mean you've got yes. children with autism Asperger's and then on up to could be a burn victim right and uh, hopefully going to start a program with Down syndrome um, there's a program for cancer patients uh, uh, this therapy is actually been shown to be uh, beneficial wow. for patients with emphysema. Dr. Gray, thank you so much. And I, I would love to see the program continue to expand and do well. Nice job there, Mason. He is doing great. I'm going to send it back to you, Karen. And again, if anyone wants more information, all they have to do is go to myfoxatlanta.com. Definitely worth checking out. All right, Stacy, thank you so much. Nine fourteen is your time now, and some kids and adults with debilitating conditions are galloping their way towards better health. And this morning, Stacy's at Circle C two in Snellville. This is a center that specializes in horse therapy. Stacy, this is so interesting. What an amazing program they have going here, Karen. That's right, we're here in Snellville. And this is Mason, and he's getting ready to mount his horse for the very first time with Caroline Jaffe, who is an experienced equine specialist. Go ahead, let's, let's watch Mason get up on the horse. You ready for this, Mason? Yes, that was a big yes. All right. So as he does that, Caroline, you're, you're going to do that now, help him out? I it's important that you have out, someone to, to help out. I mean, you monitor every child out here. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. We have safety standards and guidelines through PATH International, prior NARA okay. International. I'm certified through NARA. Of course, we work with physical and occupational therapists in addition to speech pathologists. We do basically physical, occupational, or any type of therapy okay. uh, if it's a hippotherapy session. And if it's a therapeutic riding session, then then the child is working with me one-on-one -on -one and we customize those programs for each child. Caroline, okay, so I'll let you, I know Mason is ready to get on that wall. He is ready to go. <laughs> he is ready to go. We don't want to take any time away. As uh, he does that, we're going to talk to Dr. Susan Gray.
Gray. Good morning. Good morning. So how important is it, you're a pulmonologist, how important is it to for a child to have this type of experience? Oh, it is uh, extremely important. Uh, the children here uh, learn so much, and they benefit uh, from an emotional standpoint and also from a medical standpoint. And he doesn't seem scared at all. I mean, you know, but they come out here and they learn to develop some confidence and, and social interaction. Absolutely. The horses here are large, but they're very gentle. But that's one reason that horses are so effective, because they are large and they can be intimidate, intimidating creatures. Um, and the kids out here have to learn um, to be comfortable with them. And uh, it really does build their self-confidence. Now, you're also a volunteer out here, right? I am a volunteer board member, yes. And how is that? Tell me what all you do. And I know it's very important and um, it's a big deal for the community. And it has to put a big smile in your heart and on your face to see the smile on the kids faces uh, absolutely uh, basically I'm a, a resource for Caroline if she has any medical questions or any concerns about uh, perhaps any of the clients that come out here that have medical issues um, and they're in the environment environment may be unsafe um, she's she can contact me anytime and I can help walk her through the steps and just make okay. sure that we maintain a, a good safe environment for all the different uh, types of people that she has out here yeah because you see all types right yes. I mean you've got yes. children with autism Asperger's and then on up to could be a burn victim right and uh, hopefully going to start a program with Down syndrome um, there's a program for cancer patients uh, uh, this therapy is actually been shown to be uh, beneficial wow. for patients with emphysema. Dr. Gray, thank you so much. And I, I would love to see the program continue to expand and do well. Nice job there, Mason. He is doing great. I'm going to send it back to you, Karen. And again, if anyone wants more information, all they have to do is go to myfoxatlanta.com. Definitely worth checking out. All right, Stacey, thank you so much. We are at a place this morning where children and adults with disabilities are gaining physical and emotional strength on horseback. Road Warrior Stacey Elgin is live at Circle C2 in mm -hmm. Snellville with a look at their equine therapy programs. Good morning, Stacey. Hi, good morning. This is Phoebe again, and Phoebe has been such a good girl this morning. What a beautiful horse she is. But I really want to introduce you to Charlie, the star of the morning. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning. So tell me, do you just love riding this horse? Yes. Why? Because I love it. Because you love it. What do you like about it? Because I, 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 my mom, Meg, my cousin Meg, Megan got me a set of horses for my birthday. <laughs> oh, right. And, and Phoebe's a very nice horse, isn't she? Yes. Yes. And this is your first time on TV. Yes. And you're not nervous at all. I'm not. <laughs> not yes, sir. Let me tell you where I've been to. You, where you've been, I think you're going to go for a ride. We're going to see you ride off into the sunrise this morning. How about that, Charlie? Show us how you do that. Thank you so much. This is Brenda Alexander. This is Charlie's mother. And I've I've been to medieval times. He has been to mid. Well, he is the knight in shining armor this morning. Why don't you show us how you can ride that horse? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Keep riding. We're gonna we're gonna watch you ride, Charlie. This is Brenda. This is uh, Charlie's mother. He is so sweet. Oh, thank you. We oh. we love him. Okay, too. so he has been coming out here this summer. Charlie has autism. Mm -hmm. He's 14 years old, and he's been coming out here this summer. What difference in his life has this made? Well, uh, Charlie, along with his autism, has anxiety issues, and just the concept of coming here when we mention you have horse this morning he lightens up he dresses as quickly as he can <laughs> and you know this is a school morning and i didn't tell him until this morning that he would be coming and you're he afraid he wouldn't really, get any sleep I was right? Afraid, right but he's very excited so he gets a lot of confidence um, out of this so you found out about the program uh, you were at an event uh, with mm -hmm. autism and you found out about this program right um, we were at the autism walk um, for autism speaks and a friend of mine found a booth that 
told about this therapy program and she knew that I was interested in horse therapy and I thought well this is the push I need she, since she mentioned it to me I'm gonna look into it and we're really glad we did so you would encourage other parents with children with autism to try this out I definitely would we've seen a big change in Charlie and like I said the confidence level when uh, a little boy who has anxiety gets on one of these big animals and has some control you just see him shine and you see a lot of confidence there. and I did notice with the first time he mounted the horse he was not scared at no, all no, he just hopped all. right up there not at all in fact the good thing they're teaching him a lot of horse etiquette and safety things because I think the first day we came and they were getting to know him because they tailored the whole program around the individual child right. because oh. there are no cookie cutter kids you know so he went immediately started to climb under the horse to kiss him <laughs> from underneath <laughs> but they've taught him the do's and don'ts okay. of being around the horses and that's something they do they watch re really closely yes they should you're be. probably a little more worried than, than Charlie is, aren't you? Yes, yes. <laughs> but I, I'm not as about. confident around horses as he is. So. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Brenda. And he is one cute, handsome knight in shining arm. Charlie, you want to give us another wave? I think he said hello to his grandmother earlier, didn't he? Yes, he, he did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> All right. And, and again, Grav yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> and again, if you want more information, um, they do all sorts of therapy. This is just one example. Uh, they do adults and all sorts of children. So you can go to myfoxatlanta.com for more information on Circle. See to it, the therapeutic horses. And all the horses are mm. donated, Gravier. They're rescue horses. Makes it even more fascinating. Oh, I think that's so great. And I've said before, the outside of a horse is good for the inside of a man. And that's true. Look at Charlie. He's having a great Charlie. time He's out there, having a good he? time. Thanks so much. Thanks, Stacey. Oh, give me land, lots of land under starry skies above don't fence me in this morning we are visiting a place where people with disabilities go to heal through the power of horses Stacy is live at circle c2 in snellville to tell us all about what this great program has to offer what a beautiful horse stacy <laughs> it was so cute because when blaze turned the light on karen uh, puppy the horse just looked right at the camera it's like <laughs> you are made for tv stop. Puppy, what a beautiful horse and he is very sweet and would you believe he was a rescue he was actually left here on the farm where it's in snellville this morning at circle c to it as you said a place where children and adults can come for all sorts of therapy but you know what this place could not exist without some of the volunteers Back Becky, this is Becky. Good morning, Becky. Good morning. Now, as a volunteer, what all do you have to do? I come out and help groom the horses, get them ready for the riders, tack them up, and I help with the riders, uh, sidewalking, making sure they're safe. And, um, and you do a little bit of the dirty work. I do. I clean stalls. <laughs> I feed. We know what that is. I will do anything they ask me to do. Aww. It's just a wonderful place, and it's very rewarding. And I'm sure the children and everybody here appreciates all that you do. Becky, thank, thank you so you. much, puppy. Thank you. I know you got a lot of work to do. Keep puppy looking beautiful. <laughs> this is Pam Schlomer. Good morning, Pam. Good morning. You're also on the board of directors here. Of course, volunteers are so important, but there's also all sorts of needs that you have here. Absolutely. We, uh, we are putting together a scholarship program because the children and the people who come here, many times their families' resources have already been exercised to the maximum, and they simply can't afford it. So what we're hoping to do is increase awareness so that we can, in turn, offer scholarships right. to people who just simply can't afford it. There's a lot of them out there that can't. And we're also looking for some corporate partnerships so that we can make this ongoing. Yeah. Because, you know, a place like this takes money, and a it's money. a nonprofit organization. Absolutely. It's a 5013C, and okay. it is completely nonprofit, and we are totally dependent on volunteers, as you've been seeing today, yes. and the donations from the corporate and the community. Yes. Most definitely. And we've already had, we want to announce, uh, Miss Evelyn Falls, thank you so very much for giving us permission to announce this. Your son requested, uh, and you were requesting a scholarship for him to be able to be here and ride. And that is Aww. really why we're doing this uh, awareness hopefully to raise some funds. This is Caroline Jaffe. You started this program three years ago. We've been showing this morning Charlie is one of the recipients. Get over here, Charlie. Are you Come being bashful here, now? Charlie. He couldn't stop talking earlier. Stand right here, if you will, Charlie. Here yeah. <laughs> oh, he wants to go right by the <laughs> horse. There you go. You know what this is all about. <laughs> so he is one of the recipients of, you know, what all you do here and yes. what all you provide for the children. But yes. you also do things for adults as well. Yes, yes, we do. We're 50% of St. Joseph Hospital's uh, animal therapy programs for their 
they're oncology patients, as well as we are starting a program with the uh, Veterans Administration in Decatur, whereas we're going to have some servicemen and women and also their families. Wow. These people have given so much, we can give at least this piece. Uh, anything that we can do to be of service and also anything that we can do for the children that have such a difficulty communicating. Because um, you said horses don't necessarily, a lot of times when you give them commands, it's, it's nonverbal, and that's what these children do as well. They have to communicate sometimes nonverbally. Right. We have a lot of kids out with processing delays. We're finding a lot of different diagnoses happening right now uh, with kids that are just not right. able to access their words. And this lets them. And Caroline, lets thank, them. You. Exactly. thank you. Pam, thank you. Thank Becky, you. thank you. Charlie, thank you. Did you have fun today? Yes. Now, you know you're a star already. You were on TV this morning. Yeah. This is your second. Uh-oh, I think he's giving you a kiss. You like puppy? Oh, yes. Yeah. Hey, puppy. <laughs> All right, Karen. I'm going to send it back to you. Thanks again, Charlie. And again, you can go to myfoxatlanta.com if you want some more information on the program. All right, Stacy. That oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much, Stacy.